Hey, it's Nathan with Careers and Marketing, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect click funnels to Active Campaign. If all you're trying to do is like set up a squeeze page or an opt-in page or something like that, so basically all you're trying to do is collect that contact information or the leads information, and you're not trying to sell them anything like right afterwards. So I have my squeeze page right here. Let me load it up real quick just to show it to you. So download my lead magnet, 3,981 ways to build sales funnels online. Got a little picture of my lead magnet here. And then I have my opt-in form. So I'm just looking for their first name and their email. And then they click the button. I collect their contact information, add them to Active Campaign. Active Campaign sends them this lead magnet. And boom, that's that's pretty much all I'm trying to do here. So to connect click funnels to Active Campaign with just a squeeze page or an opt-in page. What we first want to do is go to Active Campaign here, come up to Forms. We're going to create a new form. We'll call it, I don't know, I'm just going to call it Active Campaign Click Funnels Demo. But you call it whatever makes sense to you so you can keep your stuff organized. Go ahead and subscribe them to your list. And then you probably want to assign a tag or something along those lines to their account so that way it triggers the correct automation to send them their lead magnet. So I'll just do pretend lead magnet. So that's that's my pretend tag there. And of course you can add, you know, more tags or add them to a different list and everything as well. Go ahead and go ahead hit create. So here's my form here. So I got my name and my email address. You can add other form fields if you want to. They will connect to ClickFunnels using this method. So if you want to take something like phone number or I don't know, birth date or something like that, you can add those fields over here into your form. Uh, you don't need to worry about customizing the form or deleting this text or making it colorful or anything like that. So you can leave it, you know, black and white and you're gonna be good to go. Come over here to style. Like I said, that'll be fine. Now options, this is important here. So on submit, you want to open a URL and we're gonna to wanna to take them to our thank you page. So let me come back out of here on ClickFunnels. I have my thank you page right here. I'm gonna copy my link to my thank you page. Come back into Active Campaign. paste my link right here. So basically when somebody opts into this form, after they've successfully opt in, they'll be taken to this thank you page here, which I created in ClickFunnels. And another important thing you probably wanna do here is under form action, hit this little gear icon. And on default, it's gonna have an opt-in confirmation or double opt-in and probably wanna turn that off. So let me go ahead, flip the switch here, hit save. And also this advanced field right here, so allow blank fields to overwrite existing field data. I always turn this off. I figure if somebody's already in my active campaign account, I've collected their information already and I, I probably don't want to overwrite it with something new or something blank. So I always untick this box, but that could be personal preference right there. Now we're going to go to integrate and we have this full embed code right here. We're just going to click it and copy it. And then what I do is I open notepad There we go, slow computer. And I paste my code in here. And what I'm looking for is all the information between the form tags. So I have this tag right here, which is the closing form tag. And I scroll on up and I have the opening form tag, which is right here. So what I wanna do is copy from the opening form tag through the closing form tag. Just copy this right here. Come over to Click Funnels. Go back to my squeeze page. Edit the squeeze page. And I want to come up here to Settings and Integrations. And what you want to do is select a HTML form integration right here. Now, if you don't have that option or an HTML form option, I'll have another video linked to down below uh, to show you how to get that to happen. So you select that and then you come down here and you select the, the only other option and you paste in your form code right there. Hit parse and save web form. Now you gotta go ahead and sync your field. So we have the full name field. So we gotta sync that to our name field. And email field, we sync to the email field. 
And then it's going to say important manually set redirect URL in your autoresponder service, which is what we did when we uh, copied and pasted our thank you page link right here. So we already accomplished that. And we had the little green connected box here. So we'll come up here, hit save, uh, name your page. Okay, save. Now go ahead, preview. I'll go ahead and fill out my contact information. Hit download now. And boom, I'm brought to my thank you page. I went through my opt-in form here. So let me come back into Active Campaign real quick. So looking at my form here, we have my Active Campaign ClickFunnels demo form, and we have one entry. So if I click this right here, we see that Nathan at crazyoutmarketing.com. Uh, joined my email list. So that's how you go about connecting a squeeze page or opt in page or lead gen page to Active Campaign uh, by using the Active Campaign forms.